Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. One of the more common questions I receive is, which photo editing software do I feel is best? I don't like to answer that question because photography is very subjective. What software I think is best for me probably isn't the software that is best for you. So what I want to do in this video is try to help you determine which software is best for you. The way we're going to do that, in the description below this video, you'll find a link to a zip file. Inside of that zip file will be six different images. They're actually the same image. You'll have the raw file, which you're looking at right now. And then I edited, I edited the raw file in five different applications. So you'll have five more image and you'll have the Luminar edit, the Lightroom edit, the Capture One version 20 edit, the On One Photo Raw 2020 edit, and the Exposure X5 edit as well. Used to be called Alien Skin Exposure X5, but they changed their name. So you'll have those five edits. Now I did my best to edit this raw file identically in all those applications, and I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. I did just basic processing, tone and color, uh, sharpening and noise reduction. And one thing I did do on all five applications is I used a brush and I brightened up the bird's eye and cheek area here because it's kind of dark. So I did that in all five of the applications. Now the raw file is a Fuji raw file and the reason why I chose a Fuji raw file is because many people feel that a lot of applications don't process Fuji raw files uh, in you know, adequately. They don't do a good job. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone here. Not only will this hopefully help you determine which software is best for you, but you Fuji users could look at the different applications. Plus you have the raw file to use and try it yourself. And you could determine which application did the best job on the Fuji raw file. Now I'll just show you the images real quick. And one note, it was very difficult to try to make them all look similar. I didn't want one to look more colorful than another. So I just tried to make them all look the same, but actually it's, it's virtually impossible. Uh, but why don't we just go to full screen so I could better show you. This of course now, as I mentioned, is the raw file. And this is that image processed in Luminar 4. This is the image processed in Lightroom. This is the image processed in Capture One version 20. This is the image processed in On One Photo Raw 2020. And this is the image in Exposure X5. So those are the five different edits that I did. Again, this is the raw file. Um, what I suggest is download the zip file, take a look at them, zoom in, they're full size JPEGs. I didn't resize the JPEGs. So then you could take a look at it. And also in the description below this video, I'll have a link to all the different manufacturers or software uh, companies I just mentioned um, to their free trial. And if you like a certain edit more than another from a certain manufacturer, I recommend you download their free trial and then use it and see if it um, you know, works the way you want it to work with your workflow and it processes your images the way you want it to process your image. Also, you could take my raw file and try it in different um, applications that I don't, I didn't uh, use here. These are the five applications, uh, software applications I have on my computer. So try it out. What I'd like you to do is uh, give me your opinion in the comments below, which one you like the best from your viewing here. And then when you download the zip file and you tried it yourself, which software you thought worked best. That's it. Thank you everyone for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.